Oh oh, das wird jetzt so. Welcome to the Bornean Sun Bear Conservation Center at the Wee in Sepilok, visiting the animals all over. The sun bears are the world's smallest bears. Really? Apparently they're very cudd cuddlable. Ooh, I don't know if any bear is cuddlable. Shall we go try and cuddle them? <laughs> Let's go try and cuddle a bear. <laughs> uh, we're going to see. Let's pop in here and have a look. Check what's going on. People sent purchasing ticket. Oh no, we don't have a ticket. Bears don't eat bananas. Monkeys eat bananas. I'm a monkey, not a bear. Mm. So that was a Sun Bay <laughs> Conservation Center. Wow, that's very impressive. I must say, it's a real conservation center, not a zoo at all. No, it's very, pretty cool. Mm. They try to rotate the bears to different spaces and also with different other bears so they can um, sort of normalize their behavior. Which and they, is interesting to they see. They really discourage any interaction between the bears and humans, which mm. is important. And they try and let them forage for all their own food as opposed to feeding them. Yeah, highly recommend it. It's not the cheapest excursion, but while we're supporting this endeavor, uh, foreigners pay 32.50 for entry. And you can stay as long as you want. Yes, there's two viewing platforms that you can yeah. walk around. And you pretty much, if you spend enough time here, I think you're guaranteed to see a bear. Yeah, but yeah. they're not like in a show box. No. You have to look for them, be no. patient, and they keep walk them around. Out. And you're also fairly guaranteed to see some of the little monkeys. Well, yeah, the monkeys, the macaw, macaw, macaw monkeys. Macaw. They're really naughty and quite aggressive, so watch out for them. Okay, but we're still gonna go to the orangutan. Yes. Or as we call it, the orang utang <laughs> rehabilitation center. So see you there. Bam. Hello again. Alright, we are, oh, it's quarter to six, and we're at the Sepilok Rainforest Discovery Center, that's a big name. <laughs> <laughs> and what they have every night? Every evening except on the weekends. Yeah, There's every a weekend. night walk. Yeah, so then you go with a guide once the sun sets for like an hour, two hour hike through the rainforest, and obviously you see more nocturnal animals that really come out at night. And it's going to be scary yeah, and exciting. Yeah. So you can come here during a the day. They open from 8 or 5, I think. Mm -hmm. And you can spend the whole day hiking and exploring. And we'll do that tomorrow morning. But tonight we're going to do the night walk. I'm not sure how much filming we're going to be able to do. But we'll try. Probably Hopefully not. not much. The light's going to be bad. But we'll see what we can we'll spot. Tell you what it was like either way after <laughs> the fact. Yeah, we'll do a report back. <laughs> but fingers crossed we might see... Um, a thing. You, you're going to be very lucky at night, I think, to see you might see Slater Loris and maybe, what else? Some flying squirrel? S snakes? Snakes? Spiders? Ooh, hopefully not. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Go on, let's go. Welcome back. We're still at the no, we're not still at the Rainforest Discovery Center. We're back at the Rainforest, back at the rainforest Discovery. Discovery Center. Yeah, the night, and it's daytime. Last night's walk was very interesting. It was quite an experience. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's recommended. The weather was very good. I suppose we saw a few cool things, which only can be found at night. Some weird sleeping birds, which is very interesting, mm. sleeping under leaves, and a lot of insects, stick yeah. insects, and little scorpions that glow in the dark mm. under uh, ultraviolet light. If you think you're going to be seeing big things, night walks not for you. It's really more about the smaller things. We saw a little uh, Bornean viper, like a little snake. We did see mm. a slow loris. That was pretty cool, a little baby slow loris. Very high up, which for the ants coming to grab you. Uh, but it was interesting. But now it's early morning. 
eight just after eight. We've just and opened we, and we yeah. Yeah, we're exploring this area. Like birdies or something. No birdies. No birdies. No birdies. No birdies. <laughs> birdies don't excite me. I want to see some big animals. And uh, it's so hot that my glasses are already fogging up this morning. Oh yeah, so we have a kind of get out of the moment. sun. And then when it's hot we're gonna go into the jungle. Yeah, we're somewhere in the jungle and we found what's known here as the Kabali monster. This is a really, really giant tree in the forest and it's actually very difficult to get a reference on how huge it is. It's so enormous. Okay. No, the path we're on does not look well used at all. What do you say? I think for most people this might just be a little bit further than want to do in the morning or afternoon. And you need quite a bit of time to do it. The route's only about two kilometers, but it's going to take you a number of hours. To be safe at least three hours, maybe even more. Are you having second thoughts about this jungle experience? Okay, this is really a jungle. We're walking in a little two, it's like a two kilometer trail here somewhere in this rainforest discovery space. I haven't seen a person for another, for an hour at least. I haven't seen an animal either. And Lisa's uh, discovering that she's not a jungle person. Hey Lisa. Not a jungle person. Prefer the beach. Take me to the beach. Take me to the beach. Well, we got another two hours of hiking oh. and sweating, and then maybe we'll find our way out. Come, let's go see what we can find. It's exciting. Sepulok Giant. This is one massive tree. What's interesting is if you come to right down the day, you see um, squirrels. Go up these tall trees and then they jump down and fly. I know it's crazy, we saw it last night. Flying squirrels. Not sure where they're flying to, the next tree. It's quite hot out here. Oh, it's so hot and sweaty. Okay, that was uh, our experience of the Rainforest Discovery Center. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. It's very cool if you want to just walk around and experience the rainforest. There's some people doing construction over there. That's what's bloody annoying. Hammering away. It's not exactly conducive to a serene experience. No. That being said, we did find some nice trails out in the far side where it's super quiet and you're absolutely alone. And it's a true, you have a real feeling for the actual jungle. Absolutely, being it's in the jungle. Nice, but there's yeah. not really any animals to see. I don't know why. No. I kind of expected to see some animals. All we saw is lizards, a couple of birds. Yeah, there's primates around. You hear movement here and there, and you hear some noises, but it's very difficult to spot them in places. You gotta get very lucky. Mm. It's really about the rainforest. Yeah. So you're actually probably better off doing the night walk. Doing the night walk. Mm, uh, I but think so. It is. It's, it's still interesting to see the plants and the trees. It's quite phenomenal. It's pretty. It's like a big mm. botanical garden, a wild botanical garden, but there's not animals. Yeah, it's such. not a zoo. No. Okay, we're gonna go find lunch and then we're gonna move on to the next part. Yay! Oh, we're back! We're at the Sepi Lok Orangutan Rehabilitation Center. That's just on the gun. What do they do? They rehabilitate the orangutans to go back into the wild. Yeah. If any of them have been pets or injured or are not capable of being in the wild. Yeah. This is effectively a, a sort of a natural habitat for them. But they provide feeding twice a day for those who are not able to find their own food in the wild. All right, but we've never seen orangutans before, so it should be an interesting experience. Yay. I've seen one. No, uh, Mara doesn't count these. Uh -huh. Whoa! 
must be nice to be so nimble. Uh oh. It's a dead soul. to see uh, what these guys are doing there. It's really um, cool. You can see them out in the wild. Yeah, it's like, it's natural habitat, but obviously it's a center and they're being looked after, but it's pretty impressive. I, I really enjoyed it. There's two different feeding areas. So they've got the nursery where they've got some cool little ropes and jungle gym style things. We have the ones that are, need more rehabilitation are fed. Mm. And then out here, there's also another feeding platform. So you okay, can pretty much see a feeding every half an hour at the two different locations. And we saw the guys being very, very playful at the nursery. And then out on the other feeding platform, two moms with little babies. Yeah, babies are cute. So very shy though. Not sure if I got them on camera. Oh. Anyway, so we're out of here now. <laughs> and we're going to grab a bite to eat. And that's that. But thanks for watching as always and we'll catch you next time yeah give us a like bye mm -hmm.